Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mountain Studio. And today I have another video on working with Bitbucket and Xcode. Specifically, how to clone or copy your code from Bitbucket to your local computer. So, say a friend or your company has asked you for help on an existing project that's in Bitbucket. Or, if you're like me, you switch to a different computer and you don't have your project on it. Well, how do you access this project? And how can you set it up so you can see the code locally and work with it in Xcode? Well, keep watching and you'll learn how to do just that and what cloning is. The word clone means to make an identical copy of. And that is what we're going to do. We're going to make an identical copy of our project. Or you could say we're going to clone it from Bitbucket to our laptop. Okay, so let's head into Bitbucket to where our project is online and clone it to our local computer. Okay, we're inside a Bitbucket and you can see my repository here. And this is the one I wanna to clone to my local computer or make a copy of, so it's on my local computer. Just go into it and then you see this clone button right here. So you can just click on this button. You'll see a couple of different options here. You can clone it in SourceTree. SourceTree is an app that you can download and run locally to connect to your Bitbucket repositories. And we're going to use this other option, clone in Xcode. And then it'll ask you if you want to open up Xcode. You do. Okay, so it's going to give you this window. Now remember, Xcode has built in integration with GitHub, which is another source code repository that we talked about earlier. And so in the back here, you see GitHub repositories that either I've contributed to or I've created myself. But what we want is we want a repository that is from Bitbucket, which is this one right here. This is the URL where our itinerary app is. And we're using Git. The other one is Subversion. We want to keep it on Git. And you can try username and password. And here, Big Mountain Studio, that's my username. I'll type in my password. Okay, and if I try to clone, it's going to give me an error because it doesn't quite know how to how to handle this at this time. <laughs> so I submitted a ticket to Bitbucket and asked them what's going on, how do I do this, and they're really quick to respond. And so here's what they told me. Click cancel, go back to the website, and what you want to do is you just want to copy this URL starting from HTTPS. So we're going to copy that, go back into Xcode, and then we're going to paste it up here. And we're going to make a change to the URL. After my username, Big Mountain Studio, I want to put in my password separated with a colon. So I'm going to type that in with colon and then my password. And then from there, I'm going to hit enter. And now it'll let me clone it. Okay, and then you can decide where to put it. I'm just going to leave it in documents and then click clone. It's going to make a copy and then it's going to open it up in Xcode. So there you go. Now you can start working with your project, you can start making changes, and you can start committing things back to Bitbucket. All right, so there you go. It was pretty easy, except that you have to remember to edit the URL to add your password after your username. And if you have any problems with it, just contact Bitbucket support. They were really friendly, really fast, and they helped me resolve this issue. And who knows, maybe in the future, Xcode will have better integration with other source code providers. But for now, you have to remember to add your password to the URL when using Bitbucket. All right, thanks, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share this video with any of your friends on social media if you want them to learn about cloning and Bitbucket. And if you want to help out, you can always provide a translation for the title and description of this video in your native language so people in your country can find this video. All right, thanks, guys.